Alberto Ruiz Sanchez is an acclaimed author from Mexico who has been writing award-winning fiction, poetry, and essays for over 25 years. He was also the editor-in-chief of Latin America's leading publication, Artes de Mexico. He is here in Washington to honor his friend, fellow writer, and Nobel Prize winner Octavio Paz. He joins us now to share his insights. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm really happy to be here with you. Tell us about Octavio Paz and, and the importance of his work. Who was he? You know, well, he will be celebrating his 100th anniversary if he was alive. But uh, he, he was um, a man, a young man in the 30s who decided to know everything that, could be know, that someone could know about the poetry and how the poetries work in the world. So he really uh, nourished himself for all the avant-garde of the century. And he produced some works that were really at the top of what can be done in Spanish. And he did it three times in his life. He really reinvented himself three times. So his influence in the world was absolutely powerful because he really was like a synthesis of everything that was happening in, in literature in, in certain moment and producing something else, which is very difficult because, you know, when you write, there is always someone who wrote about it. And Octavio Paz was not only original, but he really was powerful, and he was really having a capability of analyzing everything from another point of view. It was an amazing person. You speak so passionately about him. How did he influence you? Well, you know, he was a great influence to me as an example, first of all, because he was a passionate man. <laughs> and working, I used to work with him, um, really was much more than a work, was, was really like uh, trying to do much more than we can do, but always with a sense and with a sense of creativity. And, you know, it was a work that I was passionate because I had to correspond with some of the greatest writers in, 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 in the time, like Kundera or Levi-Strauss or whoever was important in, uh, in the cultural war world was in touch with our magazine, the magazine we were doing with Octavio Paz. And at the same time, you know, Octavio Paz was extremely critical of what he was doing. And he was all the time putting aside what he did and trying to do it better. The world lost another literary legend this year, Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Are Latin American authors becoming more well-known throughout the world? How is that? Well, I, I don't think the, in, in the idea of progress, because, you know, sometimes we have a progress on knowing authors, and sometimes we go behind. One of the absolute interesting things and challenges we have is that the, in the English-speaking world, the, the, the literature coming from other places is not so important. For example, in France, 38% of what is published in French comes from other languages. In the United States, only 3% of what is published comes from other languages. Any Latin American writer knows much more about Chinese literature or Japanese literature or Indian literature or European literature than any American. And that's very sad because the readers in English is such a wide audience and is uh, but the publishing world and the cultural uh, attitudes and the cultural practices are not so open to to our literature so sometimes we have like a new writer or an old writer but so much to know so much to discover for this world and is that what you're trying to show in your work and let's turn to some of the things you've written uh, you have a theme of searching <laughs> Talk to us about some of your works. Well, you, you know, I, I have been writing for 25 years, but 20 of them I spend making a research on woman's desire and writing a book about it, not trying to speak in state of woman, but really to showing what they tell me and making stories of everything that they told me. And I finish a set of five books 
that is called Quinteto Quintet of Mogador. Mogador is an imaginary city in Morocco. And I just published in English um, one of them. It's, it's, it's called As, um, Poetics of Wonder, a passage to Mogador. And um, there I try to, to really show in a composition, in a very composed way, uh, a lot of my, my discoveries in, in, this, in this work. It was translated by Rhonda Buchanan. Alberto Ruiz Sanchez, we appreciate your time and good luck on your future literary achievements. Thank you so much.